Hello from Palmyra, New York. Um, we are visiting a few church history sites. So we are a part of the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints and this is where it kind of all started. And so we are going to visit the Sacred Grove today. We're going to visit the Hill Cumorah and we're also going to visit um, the Book of Mormon publication site or where it was like printed or whatever. Um, so that's what this video is going to be. Um, so yeah, right now we stopped in to get some pizza. It's called Mark's Pizzeria. There. Um, we'll let you know how it is. We got pizza, breadsticks, and drinks, which is pretty rare for us. Um, but we decided to go a little bougie. So, any initial thoughts or, or anything like that today, Nick? I'm very excited to see all of this stuff because I grew up hearing about it pretty much like everywhere else on the East Coast. I grew up hearing about it, but never really expected to be here. So it's just kind of exciting to like be in the spot that it all happened, that it all started. So. All right, we've got our pizza and breadsticks. We may have gotten a little bit more than we anticipated, but it will be nice because hopefully we can eat this for dinner too. Thoughts, Nick? Breadsticks? Oh, they're good. All right, well, as of right now, we know that the breadsticks are good from Mark's Pizzeria. If you're coming to Palmyra, good option. We'll let you know how the pizza is. So we just finished Mark's Pizzeria. So yummy. Super yummy pizza. The breadsticks, however, were Phenomenal. probably my favorite part. Yeah. It was so good. Um, overall, it was really yummy. I definitely prefer like thin crust most of the time. This was a little bit thicker crust, but it was still really yummy, which is a lot coming from me because I am a thin crust gal. And I am not a thin crust gal. I am a thick crust um, person. All right, so first stop is Book of Mormon Historic Publication Site. This is where the Book of Mormon was first published. So we're going to do a little tour, hopefully. It says that it's open, so we're going to hope for the best. There's also a distribution center right next to it, but I don't know if it's open today. So we just got out of the, right there, the Book of Mormon publication site. It was so cool. So there are missionaries there and they come on a four month assignment and they switch like sites that they're at every day. Um, so there's like four sites really close by and they give tours. And so this one was a 45 minute tour, completely free. And you get to see like all, a ton of stuff. It was super cool. Actually. Yeah, so they have a ton of stuff that's like original like the original excuse me floor of the bookstore some of like first prints of the book of mormon which is really cool it was just really i don't know it was eye-opening because it like it's like a lot of work that went into it and i don't think i really like totally fully conceptualized like how much work yeah so you sit in there and they like take you through what it looked like to print the book. And then they took you through what it was to bind the book. And they took you through and like all of that kind of stuff. And they had us like fold some of the papers. Um, so it was really fun. They're really nice. We got to chat with the missionaries after. And um, basically, if you know anything about LDS missions, typically you either do like a service mission, you go to historic sites slash visitor centers, or you do a proselyting mission where you go out and you try and teach people about what we believe. Nick and I served a proselyting mission. Um, that's where we met. And for these guys, they're called here on a special assignment for four months at the beginning of their mission. And then they are sent to their proselyting mission. Um, girls only serve for 18 months. So four of their months are here and then they only get 14. <laughs> I don't know why that was so hard for my brain. They, they, get, math, bro. <laughs> I know, they get 14 months um, wherever they're called. So one of those sisters that gave us a tour, she's heading to Lubbock, Texas. Um, and the other sister is heading to Fresno, California right after this, which is pretty crazy. It was really fun. I really, really liked it. I think we're going to head to the Sacred Grove and the Smith family farm right now, and then we'll head to Hill Cumorah. 
All right, we made it. Um, I think they do tours here as well. There's way more people at this one so far. Um, but look how cute. So fun. We just got done with the 45 minute tour portion of everything and we're now going to be wandering through the sacred grove a little bit. Nick is going to tell you his thoughts. Okay, I'm going to try and be as nice as possible, but the group we were with was pretty freaking loud and annoying. So I love it here. I think it's amazing, but I think I was a little bit annoyed by the end because they were a little bit annoying. So anyways, I'm really excited to go to the Grove because it's kind of like a, you know, walk yourself type thing. So I'm really excited to go see what this is. So, some key things from our tour. One, the house, the Smith family house, was pretty dang small. It was basically two stories um, and ten people lived in it and it was very tight. Um, not as tight as I think I expected, so like going upstairs and seeing where everybody slept, all of the kids slept upstairs and there was two different sections of it. Um, but everybody spent most of their time outside and so that's something to keep into consideration. Um, another thing that was kind of cool is the other house that we went into was 80% original. So they have only made like very few changes or renovations to them. And that was where the movie The Fighting Preacher was filmed. Pretty cool. Yeah, I think something, even now it's 2023 and this farm and the sites are pretty secluded. So it, it was just kind of eye-opening to see and to visualize that back in the 1800s when Joseph and his family grew up, this was like really secluded. Like Palmyra, the village is down, I think it's a couple miles, but yeah. it's like, it's like, like it a took ways us, into It took town. us like five minutes to drive, but like they didn't have cars. Yeah, so if you were so gonna like... go to town, it was like, it was like an ordeal. Like it was a thing that you had to like go do. So. I think it's just kind of crazy. It really put in perspective how like secluded and how like just tight and small this little family was for like a long time. So super cool. We've enjoyed it. Um, I think the next two things or the next thing that we'll probably do is go see the temple just because it's right next to us. Um, we'll walk the grounds a little bit and then we're going to go see the Hill Kimura. Fun fact about the temple. This temple is the only one in the world that has clear windows. So Some clear windows that you can look across and you can see the sacred grove which is pretty cool so here at hill Kimura, they have like a christus in there and then they also have videos and then there's this whole section that you can like look at all different like book of mormons you can look at all of like the breakdown of Kind of everything that we've already explored today so we didn't spend a ton of time in there um the sisters were really sweet they took some cute pictures of us in front of the crystal christus i almost said chrysalis chrysalis christus <laughs> just made me want to go back to rome to be honest um anyways there's these paths um all behind it so we're kind of just walking there's a monument right up here that we're gonna go to um We are very excited to see the monument and what they have at the top of the hill. This is at the top of the hill. It's a monument. Pretty cool. Sweet. Super pretty view. Okay, so we visited all of the Palmyra area historic sites for the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints. Um, the I only will, one... I will point. The only ones that we did not see, if you want to flip it over is the Whitmer farm. Um, that's like 40 minutes from here. So not really sure if we're gonna see that one. If we do, we may see it tomorrow, but I, I just don't know if we will. So here are some key takeaways and recommendations um, on what to do. So, so right here, um, let me see where we, on Main Street is the uh, Book of Mormon publication. 
also right down the street is Mark's Pizzeria from earlier. So we started there um, and it was great and it was really cool. Um, I don't really think it matters in terms of what order you do if you want to do these things. Also, I don't know if we mentioned this. They're all free. 100% free. So All the tours are free. If you have nothing to do and you want to like just check out something cool, these are all really cool things. You just have to look at the times that they're open. But anyways, we started here at the Bookmore Publication. There's a pizzeria right down the road. But we started here and then we came back and went to Smith Farms is what we did for the second thing. And then after Smith Farms, we drove back and we went to, it's back this way right here, Hill Camora Visitor Site. So we talked about it a little bit earlier, but I don't think it matters in terms of what order you do them. They're all really cool. Um, if you have more of a preference, we probably would have started with Hill Camora if we had to do it over again, just because Hill Camora kind of gives you a little bit more of an overview of like all the whole them. process. And then the Smith Farm kind of breaks it down a little bit more specifically into like that part. And then you can kind of see where it's wrapped up and finished in the Book of Mormon publication. publication. Right. So yeah, um, any recommendations? That is how we would do it in hindsight is go Hill Camorra Visitor Center, Smith Farm, Book of Mormon publication. Which is the way that you come in. So you would basically just go one, two, and then three. So we really liked it either way. Um, two of the tours so the book mormon publication site and the smith farm both 45 minute tours completely free super cool we were really lucky for the first one where we basically had a tour to ourselves which was awesome um the second time at the smith farm we were paired with this really big family and the family had actually been split up into two different groups and they just put us with them because there was just two of us and in hindsight I wish that we would have just waited an extra like 15 minutes um and gone with a different group just because that group was so big they were so loud there was a lot of them and so it just didn't make it like it didn't feel as personal it didn't feel as like informative too because they kept interrupting and it was just kind of a it was kind of a tricky situation so you can kind of be I don't want to say rude, but you can be a little bit assertive and be like, hey, we'll wait for the next group if there's like a group in front of you that's like rather large um, because it makes the experience way better. So just keep that in mind if you're going to do that. But then the Book of Mormon publication site, we walked in like five minutes after they opened. So we were the first people, the first two people we got like a private tour, which was really nice. Um, so yeah, but again, I they have so many sisters and so many missionaries that are there to like give tours. It's, I don't think it'd be a huge deal if you wanted to like wait a couple minutes to get a smaller group. Yeah. The only thing that I will say is if it is really busy that day, um, it may, you may end up being with a big group either way. Um, so I would just keep that in mind, but I don't think it's bad to say, do you think that the next group is going to be big? Um, and just go with that one. We did that at the Hill Camorra and we got our own little tour um that one's a lot shorter and you basically watch like two videos um and then you get to wander around and like go on some trails and stuff so that's also really cool um most of this stuff is not necessarily um great if you have any disabilities so like if you're in, on crutches if you're um in a wheelchair anything like that could be really hard to get around in some of these aspects um at the smith family farm they do have a golf cart that they can take you around in but you can't necessarily go into the home and like see other stuff if you have a hard time um and then the book of mormon publication site they do have an elevator but they typically take you up and down the stairs yes stairs mm -hmm. so if you struggle with that make sure you tell them so that they can take you on the elevator but like i said it's a lot of walking around for all of them so that's something to keep in mind yeah that pretty much wraps up the video for this one so thanks for watching hopefully you enjoyed um this Some content <laughs> we're trying to make this a little bit more personal so hopefully you have enjoyed the way that we've done it um and we'll see you on our next adventure